Welcome to the Medical Staff Voice Live. I'm Dr. Stan Froswijk, Chief Medical Officer here at Community Memorial Health System, and I'm joined today by Dr. Saranya Regunathan. Welcome, Dr. Regunathan. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for the opportunity to join you guys in this exciting event. Um, I have a number of questions that uh, I, I hope you're able to help me with. And uh, first question is a simple one. Uh, where are you from and, uh, and what brought you to Ventura? So I'm actually a Southern California native. I was born and raised in Agoura Hills, California, not too far from here. And my parents still live there. So that's ultimately what brought me back to the area. Thank you. Uh, where were you trained, interested in medical school, residency, perhaps even fellowship? Yeah, so I actually, when I was in high school, I knew that I wanted to be a physician. And so I specifically targeted direct medical programs. I ultimately matriculated to the University of Missouri, Kansas City, where I did a six-year BSMD program. That was a really exciting opportunity for me because I was able to truncate um, my time in undergrad and really focus my entire undergrad medical school training on the knowledge that I was going to absolutely pursue medicine. Um, I subsequently went to the University of Arizona for my head and neck surgery, otolaryngology training. That was a really exciting place to train as I was really able to learn the whole breadth of head and neck surgery in both the adult and pediatric realm. When I was a resident, I knew very confidently that I wanted to pursue a subspecialty fellowship. I ultimately decided on laryngology and bronchoesophagology, which is the surgical and medical treatment of airway disorders, swallowing disorders, and voice disorders. Um, I then went to the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio to train in laryngology and bronchoesophagology, and I was there for one year for my fellowship. And after all my training, I came back to Ventura County. Thank you, that's excellent. What treatments and procedures do you offer that the medical staff really should know about? Well, I treat the whole gamut of otolaryngology, head and neck surgery in the both adult and pediatric realm. Um, I, again, my area of expertise and specialty is laryngology, which is essentially disorders of airway, voice, and swallowing. Thank you. You know, um, I recently had a child who had what uh, commonly known as tongue tie. So uh, what ages do you treat and what particular conditions do you think the medical staff should know about that you do treat? Yeah. So again, I treat all ages from babies to um, elderly and everything in between. Um, again, I, I treat the whole gamut of head and neck surgery, otolaryngology, all ear, nose, and throat disorders. Um, but my area of expertise is treating um, dysphonia and dysphagia, so any issue with voice or swallowing. Um, part of the reason that I'm able to add this extra layer of subspecialty training is my new equipment that I have in my office called video stroboscope. What this equipment does is it allows me to see the vocal cords and the throat in a three-dimensional way. Um, it allows me to see the vibration of the vocal folds and subsequently make much more specialty diagnoses and then treat the patients more efficaciously. Um, I see a lot of patients who have seen other otolaryngologists in the area and although they've been appropriately evaluated, because these other otolaryngologists don't have this expertise and this specialty equipment, they're not able to pick up these nuanced diagnoses. So many patients say, doctor, I've been suffering with my voice and with my swallowing for so many years. Is there anything that you can do differently? And the answer is absolutely. Because of the special equipment in my subspecialty training, I can diagnose and then subsequently treat these nuanced disorders that cause really impactful changes to people's daily activities. Not being able to speak efficiently, not being able to swallow safely, we know really impacts people's quality of life. You know, I've uh, often heard over the years about people who develop um, nodules on the vocal folds. Uh, do you uh, refer to those? Do you manage those yourself? How do you do so? Yeah, that's a great question. So vocal folds um, nodules are actually a pretty common problem in anybody who uses their voice professionally. So not just singers, but you know, teachers, physicians, et cetera. Um, and those nodules sometimes can be treated medically and sometimes can be treated surgically. Um, 
part of the beauty of an office visit with me and my ability to do video stroboscopy is I can at that visit, A, diagnose the nodules and be able to tell our patients what is the appropriate treatment, whether it's surgery with me or potentially speech therapy with our speech pathologists. Um, the beauty of the community here at Community Memorial Hospital is that I work collaboratively with other ENTs and speech pathologists in the area for a wide array of um, voice and swallowing disorders. Thank you. Um, where is your practice located? How can physicians refer to you or patients find you? So my practice is located at the Centers for Family Health off Vineyard Avenue in Oxnard, California. Um, we are in the office Monday through Friday and patients are welcome to see me um, at their convenience. Excellent, that sounds uh, very available. Uh, are you in the OR uh, some days as well? I am, I am in the operating room here at Community Memorial Hospital some days as well. Very nice. Um, so a, a little uh, sidestep, do you have any special interests or hobbies outside of medicine? I do. So I am a Peloton enthusiast. So other Peloton users may see me on the leaderboard almost every single day. Um, I am very passionate about my vegetarianism. And so something that you may hear me speak about with some frequency. Um, I'm also a climate change believer. So I dedicate much of my life to avoid carbon emissions, and I am definitely also a dog lover. I have a rescue animal, and I dedicate a lot of my free time to help friends and family find rescue animals for themselves. Well, you've provided us with a, a plethora of information that is incredibly valuable for medical staff and as a result for patients as well. So we're going to do another sidestep, and we're going to lighten this up a little bit with a, 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 a section we call This and That. So uh, here we go, coffee or tea? Definitely coffee. Scrubs or business casual? Business casual. <laughs> Text or call? I'm a caller, definitely. No, oh, that's unique. Chocolate or candy? I love chocolate, specifically dark chocolate. You go for those antioxidants, huh? <laughs> Mac or PC? Gosh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm definitely in general these days partial to Mac, but I did grow up learning how to do computer programming and computer science. So I know C++ and Java. So there's a part of my heart that will always be dedicated to a PC. That is nice to know. Android or iPhone? Very partial to the iPhone and blue text messages. <laughs> Hiking or gym? Kind of gave us a little bit of insight there. I did, yeah. As somebody who rides a stationary bike every day, I'm definitely partial to um, indoor exercise. Audible or book? You know, I have to say I'm still part of the generation that grew up on books, so I love feeling like feeling holding a book. Cats or dogs? You gave us a lead on that too. I did. I love dogs. I really do. <laughs> and finally, uh, sunrises or sunsets? Gosh, another tough question, but um, as an early riser, I am so partial to the sunrise. I try to catch it as often as I can. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Regonathan. This was wonderful to get incredibly valuable information, as I said, for our physicians, as well as the, indirectly to our patients. Really appreciate you being here with us today and on our inaugural uh, Medical Staff Voice Live. Well, thank you so much for the opportunity to share my interest and expertise with the community here in Ventura, California. And I would love to treat and help any patient out there that thinks they could benefit from my expertise. And I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to learn more about Dr. Ragunathan. For more information on all the services and specialties offered at Community Memorial Health System, visit cmhshealth.org and be sure to like and subscribe for more from the medical staff voice. Thank you.